everyone, welcome to my channel. As you can see, today I'm doing something a little bit different. Um, I really wanted to do a Valentine's Day makeup look that was totally outside of the box. When I was doing this, as I was doing it, I was really inspired by goth culture. Like, I don't want to say that this is indicative of that. I'm going to mention that again at the end, but I was kind of inspired by that. And so I did want to do like a faux black lip. Um, like as an option however I think I love the way this looks so this is not the typical Valentine's Day look this isn't the one for like the girl next door this is definitely some for someone that like thinks outside of the box um, or maybe someone that does wear cloth makeup often and wants to tone it down just a little bit because there's no black in here other than the winged liner and the fake eyelashes everything else is purple um, so I was really inspired by that um, everything else is soft so yeah um, Please subscribe before you leave and if you like makeup tutorials, especially Valentine's Day ones because I And we're gonna go ahead and get into this tutorial. To set my whole eyelid region, I'm gonna go in with that white shade Extra Creamy from the PDNJ palette. And I want a white base under everything I'm doing for a reason. Um, I just wanna make sure that it's as white as possible. I'm gonna go into that purple jelly shade and I'm going to dip into the color and then use some um, e.l.f. aqua like the spray to make that pop even more. I might have to use um, some glitter glue as well. I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm just going to go with it first. I'm gonna do my weaker eye. Yeah, I probably won't. Now this is going to look a little crazy at first, but I promise, well actually I can't promise, I've never done this look before. I've had this look in my mind for a while, so I promise hopefully it will all come together. Okay, now I'm just going to do the same thing on my other lid, my non-weak lid. So I'm really impressed. I know I have to go in quite a few times, but honestly, just knowing how hard it is. Put a little bit more on this side. Okay, now we're gonna clean all this up. First, I'm gonna take some tape. I'm gonna go into the Carly Bible palette. And with a big fluffy brush, I'm going to go in with that lightest purple shade just to blend the edges of the bright purple. And I'll actually probably add just a little bit more on the top part of the eye. But I want to blend all that into like a seamless. This is probably all I'll do for the crease, honestly. back into the pb j without a wet brush just a normal brush and get more of that purple shade for the top part of my lid like right here so that it's all blending and just slightly not a whole lot put that in the inner corner or outer corner like this and that's really it for the Carly Bible palette, except for maybe like a nail corner highlight or something. And with a rounded eye contour brush, I'm gonna use that for the outer V. And again, I'm not doing anything dramatic here to, let's see, to add something. So I don't want this to be crazy. I am going to dip back into the Carly Bible palette and I'm going to take just because right now I feel like there's too there's not any like contrast. It's just like this purple 
shade and I want there to be a little something more. Okay, that's better. All right. And for the inner corner, I'm going to go in with that second highlight shade in the Carly Bible palette. Just a normal brow uh, highlighting pencil. Kind of carve out that sparkly. I'm going to take the matte and kind of carve out. I'm going to carve that out and then blend it. So I'm gonna do winged liner, um, but I'm gonna do that off camera. So I also ended up putting some lashes on. Um, I'm using the Lash Contour Lash Contour Faux Meat Collection. These are the Bordeaux ones. Um, they're supposed to look more natural. I don't think they do, but I'm gonna zoom you guys out. I've never used these lashes before. These lashes weigh 10,000 pounds. For foundation, I'm going to use the, the Smashbox 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation because I feel like for, for Valentine's Day, you're going to want to look glowy, but you're going to want your makeup to last through, you know, you know what you want it to last through. So yeah, I'm just going to dot this. This is like a medium coverage foundation, um, but it was made for like studio lights, which I think is interesting. Similar to the Makeup Forever Ultra HD, um, except this is more hydrating in my opinion. Um, I use Ultra HD more like in the summertime because it doesn't combat my oil, it just doesn't create any more oil. coverage there's still some stuff peeking through especially texture but I'm gonna have texture for the rest of my life so I'm just gonna move on from it to conceal everything I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape concealer I'm in the shade light and I'm just going to put that under my eyes and then highlight the points of my face and then blend that out with a damp beauty blender you want everything to be really full coverage with this look and you want to look really, really bright, but you want it to also last all day, so keep that in mind. Next, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Pressed Powder and I'm going to put that underneath my eyes and then set my entire face with it as well. with this bronzer this is the Estee Edit bronzer um, and I haven't used this I believe I used this in a first impression but I could be wrong I'm actually gonna contour and bronze with it I'm gonna use the matte part to contour and then mix it with the shimmery part to bronze <laughs> face and then do highlight first um, you're gonna want to make your makeup last all day long so I use the Urban Decay D slick and even though my face isn't super oily right now it still will help combat like oil in my t-zone and it also helps your makeup like any of your powders and stuff sink in but the reason I'm doing that first is because I'm gonna go in with highlight um, I was initially gonna go in with the Mary Luminizer, but I think instead I'm going to use my Carly Bible palette. So I'm going to go in with 
a mix of that pink and that bronze, the second shade. I'm going to highlight my cheekbones. And I highlight even though I have texture. It's because I like to look really, really glowing despite, despite my flaws, you know? I highlight my nose and go ahead and highlight that cupid's bow. Um, another thing I want to go ahead, well, no, I'll just do blush first. <laughs> Whatever. For blush, this is like my tried and true, like, anytime I have an event, which like is never, like not an event, but like wedding, I'm going out, whatever. I always use MAC Melba. It is my all-time favorite blush. I just think it's so, so, so gorgeous. It's like a peachy, nudie, apricot-y. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just gorgeous. And it actually, like, it's one of those blushes that, like, you, you look at it in the pan and you're like, this is nothing. And then you put it on your cheeks and it's like, oh my gosh, like, this is something, you know? It just gives like a beautiful flush to the cheeks. I'm gonna go ahead and complete my lower lash line. I'm gonna, I said I wasn't gonna use the Carly Bible palette that much, I used it the entire time. Um, I'm gonna use basically all the shades. Like I'm gonna start with that lighter one, go in with that second lightest one, and then with that gray one. the Rocket Volume Express Mascara on my bottom lash line. I also use this on the top. And I use this one um, frequently on its own as well. I just wanted to wear lashes today. For lips, I'm kind of torn because there's so, I have my lips up. There's so much, which I kind of love. I was gonna go in with like a nudie gloss type, but this is like, I'm gonna go in with this one. Can't believe I'm doing that because I was totally planning on doing a nude. Um, this is Ofra's Napa Valley. Um, it's almost black to show you. Like, oh my God, I love that. Alright guys, that completes this look. Like I said in the beginning, this is not for like the average like girl next door. Uh, make sure that you subscribe before you leave and press that bell to get notified. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Where is it? Dear Lord. That's good on my lips. This is Oprah. <laughs> Oprah. I wrote across the room.